With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let us try to solve the given problem. So the given problem is simply an assertion and medium type problem and the assertion states the apparent depth of a tank of water. Now there is a tank which is filled with water and they are saying that the apparent depth of the tank of water decreases if viewed obliquely. So it simply means that if there is a tank of water and we view the tank of water obliquely from the air, then what appears is that the height uh, up to which the water is filled is simply appears to be less. This is what the assertion is saying because it is saying that the apparent depth decreases. Now the reason says that the real depth decreases if viewed obliquely right so now let us try to understand the concept of real and apparent depth for that we need to draw a simple diagram so you can see here i have drawn a diagram let us suppose that this is the water tank right and an object is placed at a height say hr which is the real height of the object right so there is uh, there is a water tank and we have placed an object and we, we are viewing this object obliquely from air, right? So this is air. So now let us try to understand what will happen. So if this is an object, we need to locate its image that what will happen if we try to see this object in this medium. Now, this is a ray. So here I have drawn the diagram. Now you can understand that I have taken two rays. Let us say this is first ray that is coming from this object and let us take this second ray which is coming from this object. Now as this ray is falling normally on this surface, this will go like this. So this will be the first refracted ray. Right and this ray is falling obliquely like this on this water surface, water air surface. So let us say this is the angle of incidence. So since water is a denser medium and air is a rarer medium, so since the light is traveling from denser to rarer medium, this is denser and this is rarer medium, so it will deviate away from the normal and this will be the angle of refraction. Now you can see that if we want to draw the image of this object, then we will have to retrace this. We will have to retrace the, these rays like this. So if we retrace, this ray and this ray then we will obtain the image of this object somewhere here. So what our eye will perceive from air is that the object is placed here right its real height is this but our eye will per simply perceive that the object is placed at this height. Now this is called the apparent height. This is called the apparent height and very clearly we can see that the apparent height is simply less than the real height. Why? Because of the refraction. So you can see that because of the refraction of the light, the object appears to be at less depth than it is actually present inside this denser medium. So assertion is true that if we view any object obliquely, right, then what happens is that it will appear to be raised somewhat, right. So apparent height will be simply less than. We also know the relationship if we want to find out the apparent height. So that is simply given by HR divided by refractive index. So N is greater than 1 which simply means that HA is less than HR. Now let us try to analyze the reason. Now the reason says that this happens that the apparent depth uh, of a tank decreases. This actually happens because the real depth decreases. Now you can see here the real depth actually does not decreases. If this is a tank and this is the bottom point, any bottom point, this is any bottom point then actually the real depth is not decreasing but simply the eye is perceiving that this tank has less depth only due to the refraction of light. So the reason is simply false because actually the real depth does not decrease but the real depth remains same only the bottom appears to be raised due to the refraction. So this is the correct explanation. Now we simply make this statement 3 that assertion is true but the reason is false. Right, so this will be the answer, correct answer. I hope the entire explanation is clear to you. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.